you a little bit about my day and the different hats that I wear. I feel like I'm a different person every 20 minutes of the day. Um, I spend the majority of my day working with volunteers, volunteer management, fundraising, electoral work right now, um, answering emails, answering media requests, and most importantly, stroking egos. That is the biggest thing that I do throughout the day, talking to my volunteers, appealing to their self-interest, and making them want to come back and work for me again, or give their time to me. Um, so the textbook definition of grassroots organizing is a political practice to create social change. And it's based on the power of the people to take collective action on their own behalf. And I brought a few handouts just so that y'all could hold on to some of the materials that I work with. But grassroots organizing is direct action organizing. Um, and it's about shifting the relationships of power and taking it to the people who, the issue, to the people who are directly affected by the problem and empowering them to take action, ultimately. So, I don't like lecturing, so let's do self-involved talking. Why do people organize? Why do y'all organize, come together and have these meetings? Make change. less government. Okay. Want less government to make less changes, to be more powerful because 20 people getting together is much more powerful than John by himself, although he's very powerful. Um, to empower others, when you go out to the community and talk about your issues, you're hoping to educate and empower others to take action, to solve a problem. Too much government, that's why you come together. And to be visible, ultimately. Um, so that's how people organize and why do we do it? To shift the balance of power because something is wrong in the way that our power structure is right now. We all recognize that. Um, and power is generally obtained in two manners. One through money and two through numbers of people, sheer numbers of people. And the majority of nonprofit organizations and social justice campaigns don't have a lot of money. Ultimately, we know that the religious right has the majority of the money or the wealthy Democrats. They have the money. Organizations like Planned Parenthood, like the ACLU, don't tend to roll in the dough, despite what Victoria Cobb may say. Um,